Okay, welcome back to Body Works Gym TV. Today I'm going to uh, demonstrate an exercise here that it's a real good exercise to finish off uh, your upper back for a whiff exercise where you can get a good, real good squeeze. And I really like using the uh, kettlebells for a finishing exercise. Um, you can superset them with uh, like one arm rows, uh, any bent over row type thing to finish off. This way you get a real good squeeze, you can kind of concentrate. It's not something you're going to go real heavy on, but you can kind of concentrate and really get a good squeeze on your, uh, on your working on your uh, upper and lower lat. So basically, <clears throat> you have a variety of uh, kettlebells, you know, as far as weight wise. These, like I said, usually I'm just going to go up with the, just start with the heaviest ones, which I think are like 30 pounds or something like that, which is plenty to, just for this exercise. <clears throat> And you just basically put them in front. Now, the, 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 what you want to do basically here is, again, it's a bent over row type thing. So you want to get your feet, you don't want your feet out here. You want to get a good, your feet underneath you stable wise. And you're going to get yourself basically almost like a 45 to almost a 90. And you're going to grab, you're going to grab your weights. You can, uh, you can do a thumbless grip if you want, whatever, you know, whatever works for you or wrap around. Either way, it's fine. <clears throat> Like I say, what you're going to do here is get down, get your weight, and then as you're bringing, the, as you're coming up, you're going to bring it up, and you're really going to squeeze. So, and then you want to get that real full, good, full extension here up and squeeze. So, we're, basically, this exercise, what we're concentrating on is getting that squeeze. It's a finishing thing, so it's not <clears throat> we're not concerned about the heavy weight. So, like I say, this one here is a good finishing exercise to get that squeeze. So, basically, you're here, it's up, down, up, down. Again, make sure you want to get that full extension here to really stretch out your lats. <coughs> Excuse me. And then again, bring them back up. Okay, when you're on the way up here, remember you're letting your air out and you're taking your breath here up. Don't hold your breath. Again, a little bend in your knees. You can see how my knees are bent. My legs aren't straight, okay? This way it's taking off a little bit of the, you're not gonna have the stretch or the strain on your lower back, which you wanna be careful with on this exercise anyway. I mean, you really don't need a belt for this exercise because you're not really going real extensively heavy. <coughs> Excuse me. I got a cold, so I'm a little <coughs> congested. But So like I say, I would do anywhere from eight to 15 reps Probably three, four sets. Just matters how burnt I am at the end of a workout. <clears throat> but again, to concentrate with that. So what I would do, like I said, I'd do the, <clears throat> as many as I can this way. Squeeze them up, and then I'd switch. I like to do it, switch and go around this way, the same way. So up. You can see I'm not I'm not bouncing up and down. I'm just staying straight and letting the, your arms do all the work. Nothing else is moving other than just my arms. Like you say, that's a real good exercise to get that squeeze to work on the width of the of your back. That's something a uh, real good exercise to finish with. Because I mean, again, it's not nothing you're worried work doing to uh, go too heavy with. So that's a good exercise to try. Give it a try and see how you uh, like it.